guys i um i did a haul i did a haul i did a shop and then on unpacking the shop the place is a mess and i was like oh man i should have filmed it because you guys love hauls but as it happens, Sebastian's got a trial day at another preschool. Um, I've only got half an hour before I have to pick him up, so I didn't really want to like lay it all out. So I'm just going to, although as you can see, it's like a bomb site, I am just going to go around and in the fridge and stuff and show you what I got and um, what meals I'm sort of planning this week. So here we go. Okay, so um, I got some more peppers. Um, I still got the cherry tomatoes from last time. Some raspberries because Sebastian loves. Let's clean the screen. Uh, oh, everyone's messaging me. Okay, I got some soups, um, some tomato, and basil, basil, and cream of tomato. And tonight I'm having like drinks around mine, so I've got some like salsa dips and some snacks as well. Um, some fish cakes. Um, some tortellini, I've still got those from Aldi, um, some more dips, some coleslaw and some ham and salad because I saw a picture of my friend's, my friend put a picture of a ham salad and I was like, oh my God, I so want that right now. So I've got some ingredients for that, some cheese strings, some more dips. Um, and I got some in these because he's obsessed with drinking these like, he sees other children with these kind of bottled drinks and I don't like buying them because I feel like they might have loads of sugar in, but this one's actually new. It doesn't look too bad. It says no added sugar, fruit slips and H2O. And when looking at it, it doesn't really have anything in it. Um, literally like trace sugar from the fruit. So it's a tiny amount. Um, so I'm okay with that. Um, still got some soup left. It's opened from the other day. Um, okay, let's go around here. Uh, in here we have a massive bag of snacks. Um, we do have, I should put this in the fridge. This is another casserole mix. Um, just to do like a, another casserole. Um, again, you know, I won't be cooking for Chris. Um, although he's around this week, he will be probably eating out because he works really late. Um, so he might, he, he doesn't like, Chris doesn't like to eat too late, um, like big meals. So we're going to sort of see how he goes. I'll probably just like spoon him out extra um i've got some of these snacks for later on some yeah sorry some silver shampoo um some more snacks and then i emptied out the this the snack tray um this is our like little snack tray and this is gonna have sebastian snacks these sweets are actually mine but the thing like the flapjacks the raisins the chocolate buttons um some cakes that's for later but um these battenberg cakes as well he really likes so this i'm gonna keep this tin as like his tin for him um oh, and then moving on to the floor this is so the most disjointed all my hauls are gonna be ridiculously disjointed oh yeah so i've tried soy milk i thought it was okay but I thought I'd try almond milk and see how we go. Um, I'm really trying to stop eating much more dairy. Or at least start with the milk and then see how it goes from there. So I'm going to try this. I really hope I like it. It's, it's frustrating they don't sell the smaller sample size. They sell smaller ones, but they're like the flavoured ones. So, um, yeah, I'll let you know how we go. I bought a roll brush because I really want to start doing some more styles. So a little Horlick sachets to help me sleep. Some multicoloured pasta. Um, oh, these are for Seb's snacks as well. He still likes to have these. They are only for like seven months plus, but he likes to slurp at them. The blueberry and apple vanillas. Um, that's the bin. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay, so rejigged all my, this is like all my sauces. I tend to use a lot of like these kind of Japanese chilies and, um, and stuff like that. Um, and I have got just some tinned carrots, some tinned row of beans, some figs and peaches and some peas. Just because I find it, um, I don't know, I do do proper meals, but when it's um, just the two of us, usually it's just quicker and easier if I don't have any help with Sebastian at the time to just chuck in tins of carrots and drain them. I try to get ones with like low sodium um, because, and or I rinse them off especially um because it is just easier than like spending the time chopping up the carrots and, and things like that i also do have a lot of frozen um, veg loads of frozen veg so that's really good because it, it kind of retains its nutrients but yeah i know people probably be like why don't you do anything fresh i do i often my meat i haven't bought any meat in this um haul because all my meat comes straight from the butcher um i like to buy my meat organic so um 
yeah, that's why really. It's just purely convenience and you've got to do what you've got to do. It's either that or microwave meals and I'd rather at least be cooking something proper. So, um, yeah, so I've sorted out. I've got this little tiny cupboard here on the side and I've still got the rice packs from before. And I bought some couscous. I bought coriander and lemon. And I bought Moroccan style couscous because I found it a change. Some chicken casserole sachets, chicken chasseur, and some fajitas. And um, that's old from before. That's from before. What else? And again, some more tins. Just got some more peas. And we've got tomato passata, chopped tomatoes, um, some tuna. And that's about it. So, yeah, that's it for my haul. Um, I thought I'd just. While I'm at it now, I thought I'd film it because... Oh, and I bought some Weetabix as well. Um, yeah, while I'm at it now, I thought I'd film it because otherwise I knew that I'd just completely forget. So um, when I'm actually doing some cooking, I might actually show you um, some of the dishes that I've done. Again, it's it's really good if you're like um, if you're in a rush or you don't have any time um, and or you, um, it, you're struggling because you're on your own with the kids. Um, I'm quite good at wrestling up good meals um, that, um, you know... That can kind of fit around that time so I might do some videos on that to sort of help you guys out if any of you guys are sort of wondering kind of any ideas um, another thing is the slow cooker ignore our dirty dishes the slow cooker is something I highly highly recommend it's a lifesaver sometimes I just chuck in stuff literally just chuck in like some tomato passata some salt pepper like um, some all-purpose seasoning some chicken and just chuck it in leave it to simmer um for a few hours and it can just be a delicious like casserole or whatever um or base for something i'm actually going to do the fajitas in here tonight um so yeah anyway so that's all and i guess i'll see you guys soon bye